And now in sports, the Honiara Netball Association concluded its competition today with the finals of the Super and A Divisions. Martin Taromane reports. Lakers 1 and Sunrise Netball Clubs are champions again for the 2024 Honiara Netball Association A and Super Divisions after winning their respective grand final matches today. Lakers 2 defeated Southends 2 30 points to 28 points, while Sunrise finished the Super Division undefeated after a dominating season. Lakers 1 team captain Kate Ulufaalu said they are happy to retain their title and look forward for promotion next year. It's not our first time to be champions. Maybe after four years, we will come back, we will be champion. Mm -hmm. Performance blow, we will not at the same time, we will play the playoffs. We will a little bit down, a little bit today. But me just so happy as team captain for me to win him now this again. So we have a lot to work on. Uh, time for me to rest and come back next season. The, the victory means that we should be moving on to Super. But challenges me for Garem now is most of the players or the home based players. Yeah. So three fala lo mifala already left. Me no sabe huna by go next year ma. So but we fala look now lo that fala challenge. But me fala like for go up lo super bike. We go there then me fala drop. So maybe but me fala go up ma next year. Sunrise team captain Joycelyn Basia also said they are happy following their 47-41 points win over Suvania 1 in their Super Division Grand Final match today. I'm so happy about the girls from Mifala. Uh, the performance inside the court, um, out of time. I'm like thanking the girls there for um, time, blogata and effort, blogata commitment, and truly really paid off today. Um, the win, the victory, I'm not side of Mifala this season. Yeah? So, um, Thank you too much. We feel so happy. And um, but we feel no back down yet. We feel continue for training. We feel hold the season and come. And, um, come up now. Yeah? So um, understand the run, but we can break. But come back next year. For, um, come back stronger more for next season. And I believe that um, not only us, but the other teams too. Yeah, look super. Um, but to fight for this sport, yeah, for coming to um, the playoffs next year. So yeah, I think everyone will come back stronger and different um, next year. Thank you um, to our supporters, our fans, our family members um, for their support, continuous support um, for come cheering me for the tool of sideline today. And um, to our families, thank you for um, supporting us and for um, believing in us too. Yeah? And also me like thanking Big Man um, for his guidance and protection and guidance all throughout this tournament. Um, each one, each and everyone, lo, um, me fala. and me wishing everyone, um, every team, so, yeah, all the best. Lo, um, what are planning for um, next year? Yeah, lo, um, clubs and teams blow out, so thank you. Suvania so, 1 team captain Gloria Hong Minuel said they are pleased with a second spot finish, saying this is a big achievement for their family oriented team. The result um, um, in favor of Sunrise, but for a, a club where this time for me to come to the final, uh, this is a, a big achievement. So although we are down to second, but for Mifala, it's an achievement of itself for Mifala to the final. So um, uh, our spirit is still high, although uh, despite the result. Souvenir is a, a family-orientated uh, 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 club, so we would not be here without, uh, had not for the support, love the family of Mifala. So what you see, how Mifala go out there and we played our heart, it's a reflection of a team that is strongly rooted, but a strong support system from families with Mifala. So, me like the who I awe the Amato family, lo they are watching Mifala. Thank you so much. Not only we are here representing Souvenir Club, but we are also representing na village Mifala come from here, Ngongona, and also Matamuana and Tematangi. So, we are here, but we are representing Renbel as a whole. So. Uh, thank you to Prize and presentation ceremony for the 2024 HNA season, meanwhile, will be confirmed on a later date. Martin Taromani, Travel Sports. The Guadalcanal Football Association successfully held its elective Congress Friday last week at the CIF Academy to elect its new executive committee for the next four years. 
the SIF Electoral Committee presided over the election of the new GFA executive, which saw Leroy Siovi re-elected as the president. Siovi is one of the three former members who retained their seats in the new GFA executive. Josh Kera returns as General Secretary, while Chris Kilua also returns as an ordinary member. Other members of the new GFA executive are Max Laku as Vice President, Amrit Gideon, Treasurer, and Jack Namo, who is voted in as an ordinary member. Moving on to hockey. Hokkien for Health Solomon Islands today celebrated the World Children's Day in Honiara with fun games, emphasizing the importance of teamwork. Tavoli News Sports reporter Martin Taromane visited the Hokin for Health team today to find out more. Hokin for Health Solomon Islands today celebrated the World Children's Day in Honiara. Hokin for Health media officer Nairik Zuna explains the purpose and the importance of today's celebrations. Today, he make one for Universal World Children's Day, and so we for team Hokin for Health. We uh, are happy for organizing a small program here in Los Sinis. And uh, we are organizing a program for the picking that come out. And we are enjoying this program. Mainly for just for uh, try for celebrating that. You know, uh, picking them very important. Or yeah? the picking them is very important. So, I don't know why I started with the Hukin Felt before organizing the program. A uh, nice turn up today. Few numbers are turned up. And also, uh, usually, participants have been. Uh, Involved from all of the program, we will come and enjoy him at the beginning today. So it's a nice and we are looking for very happy to us for our organization for our world universal children's day today. Yes, uh, today mainly our activity, we are not into hockey sport, but because we are trying for more on team building and we are making more fun activities. So we are doing more activities, same uh, ballon race no more, water race, and uh, rob the nest and uh, goal shooting. I got a small fun game here for him to try to build him up at the beginning because I got these kids so him have to take him out and put him out into the sport hockey. Hold him back, stick and play with him no more. So him have to go with the small games where for at least bring him to come together and celebrate. So him not a fun activity for him today is him not for him today. Participants 15 years old Faithia Aruhane and 16 years old Lisa Wate said the event was helpful and both enjoyed the day. How for you How for Alec? Time you play. You must allow for to get more. Stefa is skills today and didn't play. Him enjoy as you come then you play with him. Others when you serve like that. Others when you play you enjoy too much today. Nairik Zuna, meanwhile, said he hopes the kids enjoyed the day and gained a lot from the celebrations. For all this, for the objective, for the for what the beginning of past event we for learning about is the three key elements we follow, which is live well, learn well, and lead well. This is the three key elements. If we are practicing your life, we are going to help you. We are going to go back, even the schools, even the homes. We are going to practice the three key key elements, which is to lead well, and learn well, and live well. And that is for the main objective for me for traveling for the not this for the Universal World Children's Day. The World Children's Day, meanwhile, is celebrated on the 28th of November annually. Theme for this year's celebrations is "Listen to the Future." Martin Taromane, Tavoli Sports. And that wraps up our Tavoli News Bulletin for today. As the festive season approaches. We're excited to offer our Christmas specials. If you'd like to share your Christmas and New Year greetings with our viewers, feel free to email us at sales at tavolinews.com.sb to find out more. I'm Ursula Nongebatu. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow.